Good morning, good evening. This is DSP News, the unreliable ones. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Snor Brunel, DSP Gaming. The disease persists and the complaints continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not actually sure what this is about, so this should be very, very interesting, I hope. But um, I would guess Phil is still pushing the narrative about how he's not feeling well. This, I think this has something to do with that shower situation he had. Apparently it went awry. Apparently when the pig gets too much clean water, on his skin, it gives him a negative effect. Hence the reason why pigs wallop in their own filth. Bacon's still delicious though. And complaints continue. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's because of the time he had to take off. Whatever the case may be. We're going to get into that right now. Hope you guys are all doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DSP News. Always late, never breaking. Unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG network and productions. You guys all know the slogan. So now watch me work. Yet again, this is Snor Brunel, DSP Gaming. The disease persists and complaints continue. Wow. Uh, Phil. Who told you to, to do that shower video if you knew you were going to get sick? <sighs> Maybe that's why he doesn't take showers. Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds great. Literally for three straight days. Uh, what really sucks here is that the only money I've really made is, you know, on stream. And I'll be honest, you guys have been amazing. You know, Saturday night for the PUBG stream, you guys were really supportive and positive. Last night, even though we didn't have many people on stream, we had a couple of people who were... Yeah, that, that first day, he skipped the Dragon Ball Fighter Z stream earlier that day. And uh, he had put it all over Twitter that he was really sick and he didn't know if he was going to be able to stream. But he did show up for the PUBG stream at the end of the night. Interesting coincidence being that he was complaining about Dragon Ball Fighter Z the two days, three days preceding that. Coincidence? I think not. We're very generous, and uh, you know, but how long can you keep this up? You know what I mean? How long can you keep this up uh, when I'm only streaming once a day, only the late stream? It sucks, man. This sucks. I hate being sick like it. Because here's the thing: if I got a cold. All right. And I don't know. I got the sniffles and I'm congested or I'm choking or whatever. I got a sore throat. I can tough through that. I'll take a cough drop. I'll take cough medicine. You know, I'll blow my nose and take a decongestion. I'll put up with that to tough through it. You can't tough through what I got right now. You know, it's not possible. Um, it just sucks. And it's to the point where, you know, what can I do? If I, if I have a burning fever or now I have a debilitating headache... I can't come out and I can't entertain you guys on stream. It sucks, man. This is what I love to do. Three days I've been away, not being able to do my main stream. I know people who attend my main streams only are pissed off. But, I, you know, I wish I could do something about it. I can't, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe you could have taken better care of yourself throughout the year. Throughout the years. Maybe. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that if you're in, the bed, if you're in good shape, you're not going to get sick. Most of us here can contest to that. You're going to get sick either way. But you'll be able to fight it off a little better. It kind of lessens your chances that you might get sick. I don't know. You sit on your couch all day. You're sweating in that office. I mean, what did you... You know, you don't dust. You don't vacuum. I mean, there's a bunch of things that accumulated on you. I mean, the body needed to reset. Shit. That's that's all I can tell you. <laughs> DSP News. I'm a very fallible, very, very fragile, very, you know, vulnerable person. Everyone knows that. If you the say pop-up so. messages that show up for tips, all right? Uh-huh. I'm going to change it so that the threshold now is $5. Interesting. All right? It's a scam. I need that money. I really do. I need that money uh -huh. to pay my bills. Sure do. And paycheck to paycheck. Money would come in, pay the bills. Money would come in again, pay the bills. 
The threshold used to be two. Right. Okay. And sadly, doing the threshold at two dollars, it just promotes that trolls will come in here and fucking do, you know, troll tips repeatedly. <laughs> um, you know, bits is one thing, because if you're going to do a troll cheer with bits, okay, that's fine, because guess what? Bits you've already purchased, and when you give them to me, you can't get them back. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Okay. That's the thing, is... Uh, there's not much I can do about it because... Well, there's not much that they could do about it, trolls. Because if they cheer, I get the bits. However, with these tips now, what I've noticed is that there's an increasing number of people who are trolling with tips, and what they're doing is small tips, a dollar, two dollars. And really what they're doing is the two dollars because they want to get on stream, all right? They want to see the pop-up. They want to see the nasty pop-up, all right? Being, a, you know, being jerks and put something negative on the stream. And I've noticed it's been popping up in playthroughs and everything, these nasty troll tips. <laughs> So. Um, I mean, you, you might say, oh, well, that's great because Phil gets that money. I mean, yeah, exactly. You're getting paid either way. So, I mean, who cares if you're getting trolled? Well, it's true. I mean, most people give him, like, troll bits and whatnot with messages, and he doesn't even read them. So, it is what it is. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Not the really. problem is, these idiots, then they dispute them all, all right? They dispute <laughs> all the tips. And now, I gotta go back. All right, I have to go back and I have to fucking manually dispute every single troll tip that gets disputed. And it takes a lot of fucking time. So, so basically, you're saying they're making you work for your money. Okay. <laughs> All right, it takes a lot of time. No lie, like it's not just oh you click it you're done. Everyone's lazy. First you have to click here, then you have to click there, then you have to go to another page, then you have to put in a, a message of why you think this is fraud, then you have to submit again, then it gets pushed back to you again. I'm not even kidding. And then you have to do it again, because PayPal's system is so fucked up. So, ten clicks, basically? And a little bit of typing? It sounds like something that can be taken care of in a couple minutes. But then again, if it's like Mitch, I think that that's what that guy's name was, who had like 122 disputes or some shit. You guys, you guys might remember that. That was last year. Um, this guy was tipping DSP $2 over the span of months. Over the span of months, I don't know if it was like a hundred, if I can't remember if it was like a hundred and twenty-two dollars, or the guy had tipped him a hundred and twenty-two times. I can't remember, but um, <laughs> after a while, Mitch, I think his name was Mitch, he actually decided to dispute all of those claims, and DSP was panicked. He was literally manic because he thought he was going to lose all that money, and he had to sit there and like, I think he may have had to spend like his morning trying to dispute all of them, and he was really pissed off afterwards. It was funny. It was it was certainly entertaining for a little bit. For this stuff, is that it, it's so fucked up and convoluted. PayPal still thinks every transaction via PayPal is purchasing a good through eBay. I'm not even joking. It still does, because remember, uh, eBay, and Pay eBay and PayPal are the same company, and when they, when they became one, they changed PayPal to have everything on PayPal be catered towards eBay. So this whole process of basically trying to, you know, lie and say, oh... Phil didn't, didn't send me a product he promised me he was going to send me for $2, which is fraud, by the way. Um, by the the way. whole dispute process is a major pain in my ass. So it goes back and forth and back and forth and literally takes weeks to clear up any of these fucking chargeback things, okay? So in my, the way I see it, not that, you know... Oh, boy, you know, I'm not going to do it. Of course I'm going to do it because the money is mine and I want the money. <laughs> this kind of shit... Needs to come out. Oh, this kind of boy. shit needs to be exposed for what it is. That's great. Let me fucking unleash the beast. It's greed. It's greed. You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. But if I'm going to have to go through 15 to 30 fucking disputed things, right... That takes up a lot of my time. No lie, it could take like hours. In fact, the last time I did it, it took about two hours for me to go through all these. All right. Hey, you you put the time in and you got and you worked hard and you got your money, or you at least got to keep it. It is what it is. I don't want to have to do that. I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature adult, and I'm not a children's entertainer. I, I just want to play games and have fun and make <laughs> a living doing it. It's not about the money. It's not. I'm not here to take a paycheck. Nope. That's ridiculous. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the threshold for get tips to actually show up as a thank you message on stream. Now, just so you guys know, 
if you do tip me anything lower than five dollars, I'm still gonna give you a shout out on stream. All right? You're just not gonna see the visual pop up anymore unless you do five dollars or more. And I'm sorry that I have to do that. All right? I really do. I apologize for that. It has nothing to do with you guys. All right. Well, here's the thing. So you're okay. So let's get this. Let's kind of get this together, ladies and gentlemen. So instead of seeing the pop up at two dollars, you won't see the pop up unless you contribute five dollars. But you can still contribute whatever you want up to the five dollar mark, which means that people can still give him tips and then dispute them later to take hours out of Phil's day. Thanks, Phil, for putting that information out there. Idiot. Right. It has to do with the fact that I just can't spend this much. Number one, I don't want all these fucking nasty negative messages showing up in my videos, which they are, because these idiots are doing two dollar chill tip, two dollar chill tip, and they'll do it ten times in a fucking stream, right, to get a rise, and they won't get a rise because I'll just say, oh, it's another chill tip, I ignore it, but then people all see it on the stream and they're like, oh my god. But basically, what this will do if you're gonna do it, if they're gonna do a troll tip, it has to be five dollars or more, right? So now, I mean, realistically, how many times are they gonna do that? Especially if there's a chance. You know, very strong chance they're not going to get their money back. Wow. Man, I'm so there's still a chance, though. So, like I said, if you're tipping from a dollar to, to up to, to like four dollars, you could still theoretically tip a bunch of times and then dispute the money, then dispute it, get your money back, and still take hours out of Phil's day. Thanks, Phil, for telling us this information. Jesus Christ, man. You got to keep certain shit to yourself. God damn. Stupid. Right? It's a different thing if they do 10 to 20 of these things and it's $2. Oh, no, they didn't even spend 50 bucks. But now they do 20 of these, it's $100. See what I mean? There's a major difference there. Um, so, yeah, could they still dispute it? Absolutely. But raising the, 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 the threshold of getting you know a troll ch uh, tip on stream is basically going to reduce the amount of troll, ch troll tips we see. And it's going to dramatically reduce the amount of work that I have to do. Doing a 9 to 5 would be easy. <laughs> to dispute them and get them, you know, fixed. So, that's what I'm doing as of right now. I, in fact, I just clicked save. So, it's going to be $5 or more tip in order to get a, a, you know, visual message. You're still going to get your verbal shout out, no matter what. All right. But I have to do that because I just can't. It's too time consuming at this point. You know, inundating me with work, inundating PayPal with these disputes and shit. It's just too much. Okay. They actually pay me money to do this. That's how dumb these people are. But I don't like making money at the expense of others. Really? I don't find it morally right. I just don't get it. I don't understand how people are, are defending this fucking thing. I really don't. I'm sure you don't. I don't think many people are going to be upset about this. I really don't. Um, Here's the thing, though. it's That right there is a deterrent, not a barrier. So, yeah. It, it's uh, Even if you don't get your troll message, you can still... Put some pressure on Phil and still possibly get your money back. Let's be honest. So, there you go. It's not that big of a deal. It's saying, how can we have revenue streams from idiots? How do we fool the common moron into giving us money for zero effort? Wow. All right, I've had enough. You've been doing for a while. Seriously, I've had enough of you today. First, he comes in here and he tells me having a headache is a serious medical issue and I need to go to the doctor. Now he's complaining about, you know, get out. Time out. Now you're out for 10 minutes. Seriously, dude, you're being a negative jerk. What the fuck is wrong? By telling you a headache could be something more than what you think it is? He's probably right. A headache could be a sign of a lot of things. Uh, to be honest with you, serious things if you're not careful. With people. He's a dinosaur of the internet. He's done. Look at this. He's falling apart. Yeah, That's kind what of. Phil is. He's a bad person. He's a bad gamer. Yeah. Because if you're just negative, negative, negative all the time, believing the worst about everyone, that's going to be a really bad life you're going to have, you know? I'm not that kind of person. I'm not. Maybe at one point in my life, I was. <laughs> well, you don't actually slip out of not being like that. <laughs> that's not how that works, Phil. First he's being, then he says, oh, I never had a headache in my life. All right, now I know you're full of shit, you know? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic, over dramatic, drama queen toxic. Unbelievable. I know he's not banned. He's timed out for 10 minutes. And if he comes back and fucking behaves, then he can come back. But I'm not going to put up with this constant negativity. Oh, you have a headache. What are you running? A daycare over there? Jesus. You're, you're, you're serious, you go to the doctor. 
Oh, you oh, oh, no, you're raising the tip threshold. You're just making it worse. All right, you know what? If you're not going to be fucking supportive and you're just going to be a negative jerk, well, then leave the stream chat for 10 minutes. Good Lord, dude. You mean I have to change my behavior? Wow. You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. Wow. Seriously, man. <laughs> and Majin Buu says, now he's going to come back talking shit. Well, you know what? If he is, then he can enjoy permanent pain, you know? I don't know what else to say. I'm, tr I'm trying to come back. I'm fighting through an illness to come back here and try to be nice and happy with you guys. I got to put up with negative dicks like that. Uh, he's probably doing it on purpose anyway, let's face it. Toxic toilet juice. And keep in mind, it's not that I'm trying to get more money. I, like, have you <laughs> noticed? I didn't up the threshold for bits at all. 50 bits still gets you the on-screen thank you. It's the bits I get for sure. So if you are if you go out of your way to get, do a trip... Well, in truth, you should up the bits, though. To be honest. 50 bits, he should up it to... He should probably up the... If he's going to up, you know, the tips to uh to five bucks he should up the bits to at least two bucks or 200 bits whatever he should do that uh, that's just me though i'm just you know maybe he doesn't think the way i do i'm pretty sure he, actually i know he don't each year with bits at least i fucking get it for sure and i don't have to do a dispute process to get it versus these assholes who come in and do these small tip small tip small tip Right? And then they try to fucking dispute a million of them and put all this extra work on my back. Um, I'm not gonna put up with that shit anymore. Okay? How about instead of all that dumb fucking shit, you actually put on a fucking shirt and tie, you come into work, you sit the fuck down at a desk, and you actually do some goddamn fucking work. It's 20, oh, Mr. Schweigens, I thought it was 25. It's 25 to cheer, it's 50 to get your pop-up notice. I think people are having a misconception here. You can tip any amount you want. But if you want the pop-up notice, you gotta tip five bucks or more. You can cheer 25 bits or more, and you'll get a shout-out, but if you want the on-screen notification, it's 50 bits or more. There you go. By the way, save that house. Oh my god, save that house. Where do you hear this? Save that house. I completely screwed myself the other day. When I was playing PUBG the other night. So here's, here's this is a pretty epic fail on my part. And I gotta, I gotta take the, the L on this one. I'm taking the L on this one, alright? So the final game of PUBG that I played the other night was a really bad start. Like, I started out in a bad part of the map. All I had was a shotgun. I didn't have, like, a backpack or nothing. So save the house, or save that house, said on stream, Phil, if you make top three this game, I'm going to tip you $100. And I said, well, you know what? Save that house. Just keep just, just keep that. It's for another day. Because the sad fact is that uh, I'm in a horrible position here. There's no chance I'm going to make top three. And I'm going to die within, like, five minutes here. Forget it. And so save that house goes, okay, you know, all right, I'm going to take off then. You know, see you later. <laughs> and he leaves. And guess what? I made fucking top three. <laughs> I made top three the last game. I was like, man, did I shoot myself in the ass, man. And I was like, son of a bitch. So, yeah, that wasn't a funny story, Phil. <laughs> that wasn't a funny story at all. That just makes you sound even more greedy. You got to be careful about stuff like that, Phil. You really do. And that, and at least you were generous enough to tell the guy, hey, don't stick around. Because then again, if you had more faith in yourself... You know, as a former pro fighting game player, you should be used to those type of tense situations. You know what I'm saying? When it's t when it's crunch time, it's time to nut up. I don't know. Maybe you missed that day in class. I, I don't know what to tell you. Why did I tell him? Why did I tell him to get it? That's just fucked in the head, dude. That's not normal mental behavior. The subs, sadly, have dipped dramatically. So we're down to 536 subs. Ah, the salty tears. What we're going to do is I am going to set up a new goal for the month of February. All right. And the base goal will probably be 600 subs, just to forewarn everyone. Mm. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Apparently. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively, massively strong. strong. I have no fucking self-control. Sure don't. Because we got to make a push for growth, right? What's the point of doing this goal if we don't have growth? And if I've already had 550, the next goal should be 600. So the next push will be up. So you can have your fan base up your stream attendance and, more importantly, the people that are subscribed to your stream, but you can't up the quality of your content. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Um, the next push will definitely be 600 subs, and I'm thinking if we hit it, what we'll do is we'll do the next Patron's Choice playthrough. Shout out! 
Critical for days did a 25 bit cheer overnight. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. He said, I saw the new shower video. It wasn't as good as the original, but it was still good. I hope newcomers don't take the vid as a wrong way reported for sexual content. Well, I'm fairly certain that a guy in a shower showing absolutely no nudity, it's just my top, and it, you know, you go to the beach, you see more nudity than what you saw in that video. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be, you know, flagged for, even if they flag for sexual content, it's not valid, you know what I mean? Just because I'm not a, a ripped Adonis doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to go topless in a shower-like video. That's a comic video, by the way. That's terrible. That's such a terrible thing. And then Critical Over Days did another 25 bit cheer and said, This may sound ridiculous. Why don't you do a fundraiser so you can pay for a doctor? What for this? Smoke weed every day. So you just, you guys just gave, so you, now you want him to hold a fundraiser to pay his doctor bills. I gotta say, he has a fan base like no other. I don't know, I, I need to do a topic video on that. Because his fan base is... They're an interesting bunch, I gotta tell you. I, I, I've, I've gotta tell you. You know. For all the money he makes every month, they want him to do a fundraiser now. Excuse me. To pay for his doctor's bills. So they can basically keep him around. That's basically what they're saying. And now, he's got the idea in his head, so now one day he's gonna be like, Yeah, I should probably do that. And that right there feeds, ladies and gentlemen, into that narrative when he um, <clears throat> first told us about the tax situation and how he had this looming, he had this persistent chronic health problem that he didn't want to talk about. This right here just feeds into that. So what you're seeing yet again is another brick, another set of bricks even, being laid down for what's going to come later on. Amazing. Well, the bottom line is because there's no way you could tell. I could go to the doctor right now, okay, and... You know, walk in, and of course it's going to cost her, I think, $75 to go to the doctor. I know, that sounds ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that... Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this man does have insurance. He's paying like $300 plus a month for insurance, but won't use it. Whatever. That's what it is with my current insurance. And they can test me and say, well, you just have a cold. There's nothing we can do about it. Drink fluids, you know, what are you going to do? Send me home, and that's it. Or I could go to the doctor, and the doctor could say, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. we got to run a series of tests. And then they could run the series of tests... And then they can say, well, we're going to, based on what we saw, we don't know yet, but we're going to prescribe this and this and this. And then the tests come back and say, you're sick with this or that. And then you get more medications or more testing. Or and the problem is with the American healthcare system, it's an ongoing, over, never-ending process of billing. I'm going to give you guys an example, okay? Back in 2015, I had an issue with... Phil has gouty, fat butt. Okay? My foot swelled up, all right, and was in excruciating pain. The, some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. So I went to the doctor for it, and they said, you've got problems with your body's acid levels. We think. We're not sure. The gout. Yeah, we got a test, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take an x-ray of your foot to make sure you didn't actually break anything. Mm. We're going to take blood tests to test your blood to see your acid levels, you know. And we're also going to prescribe this N NSAID, which is NSAID, or however you pronounce it, an uh, anti-inflammatory for your foot to get the swelling to go down. It's going to take a few days. And then, you know, if the testing comes back positive for the acid levels, we're going to tell you, you know, how to adjust your diet. So that basically you don't have this issue moving forward. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So I, all this got done. All right. Origi originally I got a bill. I think it was for like $150 for the doctor visit. All right. Then I got a bill. About $200 for the blood test. $200 for the x-ray. When I went to get my anti-inflammatory for my foot. Guess how much that cost? $300 out of pocket. Because they said, oh, it's not covered by your insurance at all. Like, an anti-inflammatory, a basic anti-inflammatory is not covered by my insurance that I'm paying $300 a month for. Nope, not covered. Okay. Then I ended up getting a follow-up bill. Okay. A follow-up bill. I'm not even kidding you. And I believe this one was almost $500 saying that apparently they had tried to bill my insurance three times for one of the things. I don't even know which one it was. And they had said originally they were going to pay it and then changed their fucking mind. All right. And said, oh, well, too bad. We're not paying it. So they just sent the bill to me. So, but about a line, for this one issue, all right, one doctor visit. I did it all in one day. I got doctor visit, x-ray, blood test, medications. All in one day. Of course, like three hours, I got it all done. I got billed over $1,000 for this one day, okay? And the anti-inflammatory, the other thing, I couldn't even get the whole prescription. The $300 I paid was only for the one month. I was supposed to get two-month supply. That would have been over $600. So... I actually took half the medication I was supposed to, and I toughed out the pain for the other half of it because I couldn't fucking afford it. All right? 
So here's the problem. Who knows? All right. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if he's paying 300 bucks a month for insurance, he should just use it. Two, I'm sure he could he can make adjustments to his plan periodically. And he doesn't do it. Why? I don't know. It's it's the, the ignorance that is Phil. The next thing is, ladies and gentlemen, he makes it sound like that was such an inconvenience to him, but he had to do it. He's the one who woke up. He's the one who woke up when his foot the size of a, of a damn balloon could barely walk on. He was essentially walking on his ankle more than anything else. He had to go to the doctor. He had to. And you just pay the... It's the cost to be the boss. You have to pay the toll. Period. It's not... It's not your fan base's fault. It's not the detractor's fault or the haters or the troll's fault that your body's falling apart because you wouldn't take care of yourself. Because you're not going to get regular physicals and things of that sort. Because if you did, they probably would have capped, they probably would have caught that. You did it to yourself. It's your own fault. Like I said, you gotta pay the you gotta pay the price. And whatnot. And he has this strange thing about himself where he has all of his expenses lined up and doesn't have any wiggle room for something else. Because, ladies and gent gentlemen, something will always happen. Always. And you should always have money put aside for it. In the worst case scenario. But Phil doesn't think that way. He just wants his little bills to be lined up like ducks in a row. And he wants it to be the same way every month of every year. And every time something goes up, because your bills will go up every year, he makes a big deal about it. Fucking idiot. Gives me news. Right? Who knows what on earth I was supposed to actually, you know, pay for this. And who knows if I were to go to the doctor today. I'm going to do a fundraiser so I can go to the doctor and see what's going on with me. Well, how the fuck do I know? How much I'm going to get billed. And I won't even know until like six months later. That's the other thing. So, oh, okay. All this happens, right? You would think this is a quick process, right? No. It comes up like six to eight months later. You start getting hundreds and thousands of dollars of bills in the mail that you now immediately owe within 30 days. Like, now wait a minute. You know, maybe if I had known immediately when I had all these tests done that this was going to be owed, I would have started raising money. I didn't know I was going to owe all this money all of a sudden out of fucking nowhere. But that's how all these companies work. Think about what you just said, though. You have six to eight months. To come up with the money. Are you telling me that you can't save a little, a couple hundred dollars each month? A couple hundred dollars each month you couldn't save for six to eight months for this looming bill, which is probably not going to be nearly as high. But you're telling me that you're not smart enough to do that. Are you serious? This is, this is shocking. This is absolutely scary. This is irresponsibility at its finest. And he's okay with it. He's okay with it. <sighs> Jesus. So it would be great to, and easy to say, I'll just do a fundraiser. And then you can go to the doctor. I don't know what I'm going to owe. I could owe nothing. In which case, now I did a fundraiser for nothing. And that's fucking dishonest. <laughs> Since when do you care about being dishonest? All right, whatever. What the shit? Exactly. This shocks me. Yes, it does. Or it could be the opposite. I could owe thousands and thousands of fucking dollars for something you thought was a simple issue. Right? Did I seriously think, you know what I mean, when I went for a swollen foot? Feels the gaddy fat, but feels the gaddy fat, but. <laughs> that I was going to end up paying over excess of a thousand dollars in doctor's oh. fees? And no, no, I never fathomed that. Um, and I have insurance, and that's the worst part. And I have insurance. Now here's the thing: the reason I get fucked is because I'm self-employed. I'm, it's, I'm considered middle class, okay, and I'm self-employed. So the insurance that I get from the, from, from you know what's available is the worst possible. If I worked for an employer, like a giant corporation, they usually bargain with these insurance companies to get much better plans that cover way more and cost way less, especially because they buy it in bulk. They buy it to cover all of their employees, okay? Now, in addition to that, okay, in addition to that... Uh, you could just shop around for different insurance companies to try to get better rates and better coverage. You could do that, too. You know that, right? Phil, you do know that's an option, yes? Okay, just throwing it out there. Um... If you have no job and or you have a very little bit of income, you can get on what's called Medicare or Medicaid, the free insurance. And guess what? That covers everything. So if I were not working at all, if I were poor, right? If I were poor and I was on government government money to pay for everything, I would be able to go to the doctor right now, get treated for whatever it is, and no matter what it was, I wouldn't receive a bill. It would all be free. But because I work and I bust my ass. The guy's a feminine side. Right? <laughs> I, I have to ass. pay insane amounts of money for health care. I bust my ass. That's how the nice. So 
Phil hates the rich. He he's absolutely disgusted by the poor, but yet he doesn't like the fact that he's middle class because of the fact that all of the the, the problems financially fall upon him. Jesus Christ! I know Tupac had said between uh, it's me against the world, but I don't think you you were supposed to take it this literally, Phil. It's just it's it's really it can't be this bad. It really can't. Oh my God! <laughs> Amazing. It's government works. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a great healthcare system? Seriously. So. Wait a second, Phil. Did you vote? By the way, because if you didn't vote, you really don't have any say so in that any either which way. Even if you voted for the wrong side, at least you voted. Did you vote? I don't remember you voting. I think I saw an Almighty Tevin video where you said it that you didn't vote. Uh, I guess that's neither here nor there. I don't even know what else to say. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, that's that's the situation I'm in. It, you know, let me put it this way, all right? Let me put it this way. If, in the worst case scenario here, if I were to get seriously ill... Yes, I absolutely would go to the doctor, and if I couldn't afford it, I would have a fundraiser. I was trained as a... Competitive excellence, achieving competitive excellence, or ace, uh, continuous improvement person. But that sounds like that sounds like an award. That doesn't sound like a position. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a position. It what? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I know I, I've heard that a bunch of times in Snorpin' Nose video, and just been like, what? That doesn't even sound right. But whatever. I would never do it up front. That's 100% a lie. Apparently. I know you're lying. I'm good at lying. Not really. <laughs> Not knowing what the hell, you know what I mean? Like, that would be so dishonest. I would never do it up front. Not knowing what the hell, you know what I mean? Like, that would... Actually, Snowbrenell's right. You did do this with your back taxes, actually. Same concept. You didn't know how much you owed. You, you, you made these assumptions that it could be, you know... It could be a couple thousand dollars to like tens of thousands of dollars. Your this health situation works out the exact same way, in the exact same method. They just raise up a bunch of money, whatever you have left over, you save it for something else. Jesus Christ, Phil, you're stupid. Are you so dishonest? You're so I, stupid. I guess I'm not that smart, man. I'm stupid. So it's okay to lie about your taxes, but it's not okay to lie about your health. Gotcha. <laughs> Karma's gonna hit you hard, Phil. Life comes, life comes at you fast. Just in case you don't know. Because the healthcare system's so screwed up here, you know, I wouldn't do that. So, that's why I don't do it. Elite. There's a thousand bitch here. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. So, tuck yourself in, get some soup in you, whatever way you can. Suppository if you have to. We love you, Phil. Well, that's the thing. I'm not, like, sick sick where, like, my stomach is upset. I actually ate a, a lean turkey burger for dinner tonight. If it at 55 did 100 bit cheer and says, ask Papa Lou to become a temporary in-house nurse for you. Dude, if I asked Papa Lou to be my in-house nurse, it would basically be misery all over again. He'd be breaking my fucking legs to paralyze me so I can't move. So, get it tonight, baby. Giant King Kong strap on. Oh my God, yes. Wow. Oh, 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 God. Oh, That's yeah. disturbing. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Please, let's not, let's, don't even joke about that stuff, because he'll cure it, and he'll take it seriously, and he'll start buying plane tickets to Seattle and shit, you know, let's not get, uh, let's not get uh, ahead of ourselves here. I don't need a, a Kathy Bates here. Anyway, uh, Eternity of Forever to the 25 Big Chairs is Misery the Movie starring Papa Lou and Bareback Burnell. That's well, hilarious. And then he did a 25-inch year and said, Damn, I wanted to hear that motivational speech. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, sadly, uh, no, like I said, no one owned the video cameras back then. If they did, they were filthy rich, and my parents were not filthy rich, so... No valedictorian speech was recorded for me. Boo! Flush the toilet, down to the sewer. Boo! And then an alligator eats the shit and shits that out and goes out into the fucking sewage river. Boo! What pasta do you prefer? Okay, whatever that last part was. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, there you go. Um, the uh, the pig was sick for the last couple days. He's upset that he's sick, and uh, yeah, you're gonna have to give him a couple hundred dollars to make him feel better. And apparently, he doesn't want a Papa Lou to come and take care of him because uh, it turns into the movie Misery. 
Misery was a good movie, by the way. You guys should watch it. It's a very, very good movie. Um, as it pertains to the complaints, uh, fuck all y'all haters, <laughs> basically. You know what I'm saying? He gonna do him, and the rest of y'all just sit back and take it. No pun intended. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is TSP News. Always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG Network and Productions. Uh, shouts out to all of you guys, to be honest with you, for supporting the videos. I very much appreciate it. Shouts out to D, uh, Memology 101, uh, to Doom, Jimmy Triforce, uh, the Jackal's Lair, um, and everybody else, man. I very much appreciate it. And this is GTG signing off. I'll see you guys at the next broadcast. After the end of this broadcast. End of broadcast. <laughs> That's the worst outro ever. <laughs>